Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to convert this laser pointer into a more powerful lithium power laser pointer. Now the reason you want to do that is because normally these laser pointer runs on these button batteries, three of them. And you know this button battery can cost, you know, a lot, especially five for one buck. And they don't last very long. What if you can hook it up to a lithium uh, battery which can be recharged hundreds of time and it has a, a power capacity of let's say at least a thousand milliamp hour so that'd be awesome that means that this lithium uh, powered laser pointer will last for at least 50 to 100 hour continuous use and then you can recharge it just by hooking it up to a charger now I built a wireless charger as you can see here and it can be charged wirelessly as well. Watch this. Hook it up to this. And watch this. It will charge automatically, wirelessly. Very convenient. And it will charge within one or two hours. And you get a uh, full, fully charged lithium power laser pointer. It will last you another 50 to 100 hours. And these lithium batteries can recharge over hundreds of times. So you can imagine 10,000 hours worth of laser pointer. No need to stock up on those button battery anymore. Now you have lithium power laser pointer. Let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. Cool. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is remove the head, plastic head, and then also the battery from the back and the lid at the back as well. Okay, so we take that out. Now what you want to do is, um, you want to cut through like this. Okay, I did this previously, cut right through halfway until you have access to the diodes. You can pull it out like this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a rotary cutter to cut right through, like that. Okay, somewhere, here's the button. I'm going to cut somewhere like that, right here. Okay, so the button's right here. We're going to cut through here right about where the button starts okay just like what we see here like that. and uh, once we access it we can then pull out the diodes the laser diodes okay let's start it I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'm going to pull this apart. Add a piece. Ideally, you want something um, sharp to pull the aluminum cylinder. There we go. Perfect. There it is. The laser diodes. Okay. I can see the positive and negative terminal here. Okay. So I was able to locate the positive and negative terminal. Here's the negative terminal. The positive terminal is located right here. You watch this. If I... There we go. Okay. So that's very important to note. It's right there. So we're going to label that. Mm. Here I say positive terminal. Okay, here it is, the laser diodes once you open it apart. Okay, and there's a lithium battery I'm going to hook up to. This is a um, 3.7 to 4.2 volt. Right now, currently at 4.2, so fully charged. And uh, it has probably about 1,000 milliamp hour on it. So we're going to hook it up. Now, I didn't change the, the resistor in here. I could do that later on to see how powerful it is by changing the uh, resistor you can actually increase the, um, the laser output but I'm not going to do that right now I don't because I don't know exactly what is needed so what we're going to do right now is just hook up the battery increase the battery power okay so this is the negative negative is on the bottom and positive is somewhere on the side here let's see there we go works pretty good I don't know if you can see that there okay you can see it's pretty uh, powerful. Uh, you can see that. There we go. Look at that. Very bright. 
there we go so here we have um, a laser diode that runs on lithium battery so if you hook it up positive and negative terminal negative on the bottom here and positive terminal on top here right and uh, now you have a laser pointer that is quite powerful okay so the um, milliwatt is still the same but the good news is that it's running on lithium battery so it will last for a long period of time much much longer than this button battery here I'll show you that was uh, there's three of this that you need right so the um, power output on this one is very little so you know you use it up quite quickly but with this um, lithium battery and remember this is a rechargeable lithium battery this can run for hours and hours I suspect at least uh, you know close to 100 hours and then you can recharge again it will last another 100 hours pretty cool yeah educate